In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for MgOH2 plus HNO3. This is magnesium hydroxide, and then we have nitric acid. So to do this, we first need to balance the molecular equation. It looks like if we put a coefficient of 2 here and then 2 over here, that would balance the molecular equation. So once we have that done, we can write the states for each substance. So we need to be careful with hydroxides. Often they're not soluble, especially this group two, magnesium's in group two. Let's check that on a solubility table. So we look at our solubility table here. Here's magnesium and then hydroxide. So we go over here and then down. We have that I there. That means that this is insoluble. It won't dissolve to water or very little will dissolve in the water. So we're gonna put an S up here as a solid because if it's insoluble, it's just at the bottom of the test tube or the beaker. So that's the state for magnesium hydroxide. It is a solid. Nitric acid, that's a strong acid. That's gonna dissociate completely, dissolve in water. So we write aqueous. Nitrates are very soluble. So we're gonna write aqueous for that. And then water, that's a liquid. So we have the states and now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And that'll be the complete ionic equation. So we can't split magnesium hydroxide apart into its ions. It's a solid, it's not dissolved. So we're just gonna write MgOH2. So that's our magnesium hydroxide. And I won't write the states now, I'll do that at the end. For the nitric acid, hydrogen group one, so it has a one plus, and the nitrite ion has a one minus. Very good one to remember. So we have two H plus ions plus the two nitrate ions. In the products here, magnesium's in group two, it has a two plus ionic charge and the nitrate was negative. So we have Mg two plus plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. In this little subscript, that means we have two of them. And then for the water, we don't split apart liquids. So we just put two H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. These are ions that are on both sides of that complete ionic equation. Effectively, they haven't changed. And when I look at it, I see I have these two nitrate ions here in the reactants and two in the products. I can cross those out. Everything else is unique. So what's left is the net ionic equation. Let me clean this up and write the states in, and then we'll have a nicely written net ionic equation for MgOH2 plus HNO3. And this is the net ionic equation for MgOH2 plus HNO3. We have our solid magnesium hydroxide, two hydrogen ions, a magnesium ion, and two water molecules. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.